Okay, this will be a second lecture, second lesson, or analysis of a game using the North Sea variation of the modern defense. Um, you should look over the first discussion of this before looking at this second video. This is uh, a game played in 2000, in November 23rd of 2000, in Germany at Seabad Heringsdorf, I believe. It's a German championship. White is Holzhauer, black is Paulson. Uh, I'm not sure who D. Paulson is, uh, but he plays this opening quite a bit, it looks like. Uh, white is rated at just under 2400, and black is rated at just over 2400 uh, on this at the date of this game. <coughs> so again, the North Sea defense starts out like the modern defense, with white playing e4, d4 black playing the b6 opening for the modern defense. Black's second move, however, is not bg7, but rather nf6. Now, if white doesn't play e5, uh, black would have to be ready to go into some other opening. But if white plays e5, instead of playing knight to d5, black plays knight h5, and this is the arrangement called the North Sea defense. In the first video, we discussed what happens if white plays bishop e2 to attack the knight on the edge. Often, white will play nf3 and then bc4. In this game, white plays bc4 first. And Paulson chose to respond with d5. Now, a possible twist on this uh, would be for black to respond actually with nc6. And then if white chose to respond, as I think he would, with uh, nf3, then white can play, or black can play d6. If white charges in, uh, the king simply takes, maybe check with the knight, King goes to g8, and uh, black is doing fine and is ahead. If white, instead of charging in with the bishop, charges in with a knight, black just plays e6. And uh, I think he's doing fine here as well. White might castle. Black can take. White then attacks the knight. But the queen, black's queen, is attacking this knight here, so black interposes his knight. So if white then takes. Now in this position, if black takes the queen, uh, that's a mistake. Uh, I'll show you in a second. But for now, the move would be for white to take the knight. And again, uh, black is doing fine. Black is mating chances here, so obviously the next move for white has to be g3. So backing up a bit, I mentioned that if, uh, so ng5, after bc4, nc3, nf3, d6, ng5, e6, to prevent the fork, white castles, black takes, white attacks, block the bishop, white takes. Now if the mistake is for queen to take, uh, the queen to take the queen, uh, white takes with the rook, you have to take that and uh, white's doing fine here. In fact, the computer has this as uh, a strong advantage for white.
Alright, let's back up to the actual game. Uh, white played bc4 on the fourth move, black played d5, but then played be2, which I think might be a mistake. I think bishop d3 would be better, but in any case, be2, white played c5, with plans on playing queen a5, I believe. White takes, black's in no rush to retake. This is something similar to the uh, more typical opening. And again, in the uh, opening we went over earlier with uh, bishop e2 as white's uh, fourth move. The rook on g8 is threatening the bishop on g2. Now here black played nd4, but I believe actually uh, no, it's fine. Nd4 is fine. Queen d1, bishop f5, basically ganging up on the c-pawn. <coughs> and that, that move, I, I believe, is weak. I think a better move here would be to go ahead and take the pawn on g2 with the rook. <coughs> and then when he threatens the knight, go to e6 to threaten uh, the bishop. Check as an intermezzo move to avoid the fork. Sacrifice. And uh, threaten a discovered check here. So, anyway, uh, two possible uh, deviations from the actual game. Let's go back to the actual game where a queen uh, is attacking along with the bishop and the knight on c2. White jumps ahead. Check. I haven't analyzed much further than this, so for now I'll just play through these moves. but I don't have any more commentary. The rest of the game just moved along with both sides playing a lot of tight choices here uh, with I'm sure errors on each side but as is typical of this opening which the book by Jim Bickford has a preface um, where the author of the preface mentions uh, which is Mike Archer uh, mentions that this is a good game just for Black to get uh, some equal chances by playing an unusual opening with some uh, opportunities for very confusing middle games. So throughout it's been mostly a fairly uh, even game although I think Black had some opportunities missed And now uh, white has screwed up and basically the passed pawn here on the A file just can't be stopped. And white gives up. That's it. Let me know if you want to hear more about this.